All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going thrifting for golf clubs. Always looking for stuff that we could use ourselves, sell to you guys for super cheap online, or just have fun trying out at the driving range and then donate back at the end. But never know what you're gonna find though, so. Let's go find it. Almost lost you behind know, uh, the uh, car. Yeah, but uh, let's go see if we can uh, lose ourselves in some good golf clubs today. Whoa, check this bag out right here. USA edition Sun Mountain. I think that's like the C. 130, one of their uh, top of the line ones, obviously comes with the uh, rain cover. Let's see if all the uh, zippers work on that. Got the USA uh, flag right there. This thing is super cool. How much is it going for? Uh, 24.90, oh yeah, it is the uh, C130. Oh, nice. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to, well, <laughs> lots of the stuff as you're about to uh, find That's out, really but cool. lots of uh, clubs in here today. Let's see if there's any, oh, we got a yeah, Great Big Bertha Hawkeye. Got a yeah, Bazooka J-Max Junior Club. Oh, one of the uh, first uh, graphite headed uh, clubs right there. The ADX from uh, Yonex. We got a, a TaylorMade Rescue Mid right here. 19 degrees steel shaft on there. Grip is looking good. Let's see what the prices are today. 6.99 is not a bad deal on that one. These are kind of cool. The McGregor Extras. It's almost like a uh, DCI 990 where it's like kind of a cut cavity. Speaking oh, yeah. of DCIs, not the 990, but that one has seen better days. Oh, we got some Max Light Revolution Red. Oh, speaking of uh, red, we got the uh, CPR 21. Oh, there's a uh, double dosage of uh, Ashley's least favorite clubs of all time, the Nike uh, CPRs. When we uh, first started out, I gave uh, Ashley a, a set of uh, Nike CPRs. Almost never played again. Yeah, it was a- yeah. I put them now recently. It was definitely me, not the clubs. Well, there was a, a brutal uh, start to uh, yes. Ashley's uh, golfing uh, career. It was my fault. I got her the uh, wrong clubs, but definitely a cool little find. I wish they had a, a full set of these Max Live Revolutions. Mm -hmm. Those are, if you find the Australian blades, those are an absolute uh, grail, but definitely, a, oh, we got a, a TaylorMade 200 steel in here as well. A little classic steel shaft on there. $9.99 on that. Ormar Tri-Metal. What is that one? Oh, Daiwa. Oh, nice. Huh. Daiwa, mate. well, that's my uh, nickname. This is no, the, it's no, it's a lady nickname. super wide wow. body. Interesting, but uh, definitely some interesting stuff right here. $25 on the bag is definitely a good deal. Yeah, really cool. Two Nike CPRs, just for uh, Ashley's uh, fun. And then the uh, Rescue Mid with a classic, uh, well, there you thumbnail. go. Early call on the uh, thumbnail. <laughs> Nailed it. Haven't even made it back to the golf clubs at the next Goodwill, but check this out. I've never seen this before. A Payne Stewart, one of the uh, goats, tragically uh, taking that too soon, but man, that is a uh, cool shirt. We actually have a uh, Payne Stewart autograph that we found at a uh, flea market. Let's see if there's any uh, golf clubs worth picking up in here. We got some uh, Lady Thompsons. We've got a full set of Prince and Fila, two uh, golf brands that are no more, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, more known for uh, tennis. We got a uh, some Battle Sticks. Nice. Interesting names, but don't think they're uh, worth picking up, but definitely worth picking up. Payne Stewart Very cool. shirt right there. All right, next stop, you guessed it. A Goodwill. Well, check out this bag right here. This would have been perfect uh, for St. Patrick's oh, Day. It's McGregor. Oh, it's McGregor. That is awesome. Only eight ninety nine <laughs> on that. That is super, super cool. Yeah. Let's see if we got any uh, golf clubs to throw in there. We got a left-handed perfect club in less than perfect condition. This looks like it's a, a double donation. There's an old Goodwill sticker right there, and then a new Goodwill sticker it on there. Perfect for someone. Yeah, definitely but it's just like a discount double check. We got a uh, Callaway Big Bertha. What do you got? The pull tabs are there. Oh, Jack Nicholas. Nicholas. Fascinating. Got Very some Tommy cool. Armour 845. See the, those at every uh, thrift you store. You don't see this everywhere though. Turbo power. Turbo power, power some uh, Callaway uh, Hawkeye VFT uh, knockoffs. What else do we got? We got an Altima Tommy Armour 850. Oh, check this out. Speaking of McGregor, these have been on my, <laughs> if this is a full set, I would have lost my entire mind. Yes. Ah, man, these have been on my uh, bucket list forever. I still play the driving iron that goes with this. Some of the cleanest looking blades of all time. The M7, or I think there's a 675. They say it somewhere on the, uh, see that on the hosel. Oh no, it's right there. It's like impossible to see. Camera's not gonna focus on it. It's right above the uh, V-foil. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's but the, like they were the first ones I remember that were like CNC milled grooves or something. They were just so beautiful. Satin finish, butter knife. Those are beautiful, so. Just like this bag. Oh, this was a uh, demo. Uh, Dynamic Old S300, original McGregor. I'm gonna pick that up just to do what I hit. Ended up taking this to the driving range later and not gonna lie, it felt even better than it looked. It doesn't go for a ton of money, so if you ever find these, definitely pick them up. That is. McGregor kind of good. Oh, look. there you go. Put that in there. Ta-da! Perfect. 
Oh, you can't see the McGregor? Uh? Oh, sorry. T I'm double. Failing. No, that's not. It's not your fault. Nothing's ever your fault. <gasps> oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We might use that also. Drink up, Grinches. <laughs> Yeah, check this out. This bag is even more beautiful out here in the uh, sunlight. This thing is, I think it might actually be real leather. Look at how it's literally plush. It's got a uh, plush uh, shoulder Very strap snazzy. right there. Very snazzy. Check out the uh, pull tabs. I don't know if you can see it in there. Yeah. They are super, super cool. Jack Nicholas, right there. Oh, little you can see Jack Nicholas. Yeah. That man, this thing is so freaking nice. Wish I had like a bigger spell of McGregor, but still mm -hmm. super cool. Almost as cool as Ashley's sweater. It's almost like a Sunday staff bag too. It's smaller too. Smaller. Sunday staff bag. The contradiction. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> go. We'll meet you to the next spot. All right, folks, and next stop, one of our favorite Play It Again sports. This is actually the one that we went to with uh, Rick Shields. And speaking of Rick Shields, we're still racing him to a uh, three million. He's got about two and a half million uh, subscribers on us. But uh, you never know, we get a, we need all of your uh, help. But uh, you never maybe- never know what subscribers you're going to get. So, so we'll, uh, go subscribe. Let's go ask those random people to uh, subscribe, <laughs> but let's go find some random golf clubs worth making a video about. Oh man, they've got a ton of stuff in here. Looks like they got a, a shipment of warrior clubs in here, but check this out a Palmer Peerless this is we have a uh, full set of these this is probably the cleanest one that I've ever seen absolutely stunning persimmon wood right there look at the whipping absolutely uh, perfect $24.99 that is definitely coming home. All right, Ashley convinced me to hit this. I was a little hesitant at first because it looks so good and I didn't want to mess it up absolutely crushed it after four or five tries but if you guys didn't know this is where the term hitting it on the screws comes from because there's literally screws on the face. You got the perfect driver. We saw the uh, perfect uh, double donation. Oh, that bag's epic. That bag is epic. Are you just waiting there for that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> she had no idea what was going on behind her. She was waiting for that joke. But uh, we got a uh, Taylor-made uh, V-Steel MX-560. We've got a Pure Spin 3-wood. Nice. That is amazing for $15. Got an R5 dual, super underrated. What is this guy right here? Bazooka, some more. We've seen this bag before, but so this uh, cool. demo bag of the uh, Snake Eyes, absolutely stunning. Almost as stunning as this right here, the Ping Zing Blonde. Blonde. That is super nice. We have a full set of those in a little bit better condition, but oh man, I had the uh, driver to this for a long time. The Adams Insight BUL 5000, the big ugly long. That is one of the uh, most, yeah, one of the most forgiving drivers that I've ever hit. But uh, let's see what we got. They've had this wedge in here for like probably three or four uh, years. Not a uh, hot seller to us, at least. I'd be sad if it wasn't here. Anymore. Yeah, I know. We got an Epon. I mean, you never see Epon uh, stuff before. I don't even know how that's pronounced it, but it's a, a Japanese domestic market product. Yeah, Speaking cool. of that, we got a, a Miura. Oh, I said it wrong. Mira, everybody's going Mira, to. Yeah. yeah. I used to say Mira all the time, and we get so many comments. It was kind of funny. And it's kind of a. Uh, we watched the Adam Scott video, which it did not help because he has a British accent, so we still didn't know how to pronounce it. An Australian it accent, oh. but yeah. <laughs> Walking out. Okay. <laughs> MD3 wedge that is uh, seen better days. A Vokey wedge that is seen better days. Uh, what else do we have so over sorry. here? Adam, you do use Australia, but you just like said it the opposite yeah. way. We'll roll the clip. Uh, if you want to uh, not be the most embarrassed person, yeah. we'll roll the clip where I do a British accent in no. front of uh, yeah, <laughs> in front of uh, Rick Shields. High five. You're liking the GoPro, you can do whatever you want with it. Really fast to record, is it? I want to leave that part in. <laughs> is that still recording? <laughs> Do you, uh, was that a bit of an English accent then? I tried, I, it, it happened by <laughs> accident. Give us no. an English accent. No. No, no. <laughs> no I'm not doing this. Say those, Cle I... those Cleveland irons, those Cleveland irons are the worst looking irons ever. <gasps> those Cleveland irons are the worst looking irons I've ever that, laid eyes upon. That's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. We've, we've lost all of our British contingency. We've <laughs> got the uh, Sim 2. That is a, uh, what shaft is that? Oh my goodness, it's an Oban shaft. <laughs> Obans of, I wish I was left-handed. One of the rare times we're being a lefty. That is such a freaking sick, that is an awesome uh, setup. Could you get that? Uh, mm, I think, it, yeah, you could like pop that out and then it's right-handed. Yeah, interchangeable. Hmm. We'll have to talk to like uh, math and logic. Yeah, math and logic. <laughs> British and Australian. It's so all the sorry. same. Nike Cobra VRS. We got an RVZ over there. Pure Spin Five Wood somehow is in the discount bin, but the uh, Three Woods over there with Ashley's uh, ability to geographical location. It's one of my favorite players. 
<laughs> we got a uh, oh this would be sweet if these were the uh, bqs we've been looking for a, a set of uh, bq red dots for uh, ashley me. this is all the way down to the lob wedge two iron all are these matching a uh, serial serial numbers easy for me to say how much is he going for 120 dollars We'll have to consider that. We'll go through and see if they're all matching serial numbers. Mm -hmm. If so, then it's definitely, definitely yeah, worth it. Got some MX900s. My dad used those for a while. They've had those Huggins in here for a while, but they got mismatched shafts or else we would totally pick them up. Oh, oh man, to go, these are the uh, cavity back versions <laughs> of the uh, McGregor it's iron we just really found. cool design. Yeah, they, so the story behind these is that they're like a super forgiving, huge cavity back, but they actually were forged, which was rare for huge cavity backs mm -hmm. at the time to be forged, so they felt really good. And they just have like a little bit of a cult following. Uh, five iron through pitching wedge for $70 on what? some I-10s. What in the world? The Golf Pride grips alone are worth more than that. Well, it's yeah. a, a ping load up kind of a day, yeah. but let's go see if we can load up on some uh, putters. There was a weight pun right there because there's weights, but yeah. I couldn't think of it in time. Got a uh, Yes Penny putter down there. Got a uh, Nike Oz. No. What is that? It looks like the Callaway. It's even uglier than the uh, Callaway it's Tuttle. Funky. Not what is a fan. That? Not a fan. V-Rex. Not a, uh, a V-Rex away from <laughs> that. V-Rex away from that for sure. What is this Mizuno? It's a, uh, uh, almost looks like the uh, oh, old yeah. Scotty Cameron yeah, that's that Mizuno. That's what it looks like. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like the Atel. It's got the uh, same alignment aid on there. Mm -hmm. Got a heavy putter, white ice. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Got a ping pal, Tom Watson special. Mm -hmm. Nike IC, Seymour trapezoidal putter. Got a teardrop back there. I got a TP Mills grip. What is that? That's why I didn't recognize that shape. TP I've never gold. seen that before. Looks like a bullseye. How much is that? Twenty. I don't care how much that is. Yeah. I've never seen that TP Mills before. Seen? That is freaking. That's, that's cool. awesome. We got the uh, Odyssey <laughs> Dart putter up there. What is this? Rife putter. He was actually um, his old uh, when it was Rife before uh, Even Roll. His uh, headquarters was right down the uh, street mm -hmm. from where we are right now. We got a PXG putter. Oh yeah, a Nike putter. They had the PXG putter in here the last time. Let's see what this one is. Assist. Uh, oh, it's like the Ping Zing one. I think it's like the O2 something. Uh, zero, zero, 002. Yeah. Almost got it. Oh, you exactly the PSG choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, it's got a Scotty Cameron back there. Oh. How do we miss that? Oh, because we're looking at the bottom shelf. Oh, it's a Pro Platinum. This is, how much is this going for? 250. That is a heck of a deal on a uh, Pro Platinum if it's in good condition. I think that, oh, yeah, it's the uh, uh, mid slant, the mid slant, uh, uh, Newport mid slant. That is, that is in really good condition. Mm -hmm. Ping pistol grip on there, Tiger Woods uh, esque. That is, man. There's, we're gonna be dropping like a band in here. Uh, I think this is a uh, one of the Odyssey Works putters. If it's, it is for sixty, but oh my goodness, and it's the wide one too, the two W. Mm. This is basically like the uh, Odyssey version of the uh, K Sig putter, yes. Kirkland signature. <laughs> grip has seen better days, but for fifty nine dollars, we're gonna have to. I think we have some epic decisions to make. Epic, you're, you're still on that uh, I'm epic plan. I'm trying point. to go back. We're just Scotty resetting. Cameron, Palmer Peerless, <laughs> Odyssey, and then, ah, man. Oh, look at the Nike Sumo bag, too. Oh, yeah, that was in here the last time, actually. Yeah. I was dumbfounded by what Sumo meant, super moment of inertia. I had never known, yeah. I just I didn't know that that's time. what it's, yeah. At least I feel better about being stupid. <laughs> no, you're not stupid. <laughs> All right. Uh, updates to come. Updates to come. We're going to weigh the decision. <laughs> yes, weight joke. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> All right, folks. How awesome was that? Honk worthy finds yes. right there. Palmer Peerless Persimmon, a set of Ping I 10s for $69, a Scotty Cameron mid splant. Pro Platinum, a Versa, or no, the uh, Odyssey works. Yeah. There's so many good things and in the there, in the TP Bills. We've never even seen that one before. Yeah, the uh, Ping ITs weren't matching a serial number and they had oh. some like weird stuff going on with the uh, shafts, but that play to get the sports literally never disappoints. No, but that, that was an exceptional day. <laughs> an exceptional day. Hopefully you guys did find it exceptional as well. Absolutely, that was. It was one of our better thrift trips in the oh, uh, yeah, while. We've been, been on a, a roll. But I uh, hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit like, button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.